So my name's Fraser, I'm a carnival keeper here at the zoo. Uh, so there's a lot more to carnival keeping than the naked eye of just feeding and cleaning. But we also do a lot of animal health checks and wellbeing checks. So if an animal was to come into season or something, that is something we'll monitor in case we have like future babies and things. And also if an animal becomes a bit poorly and unwell, that's something we have to monitor as well for vet checks and other stuff like that. But there's also things such as like paddock maintenance. So things like strimming and pruning enclosures is something that we also do ourselves personally. So there's a lot more to just feeding and cleaning essentially. So prior to getting this position, I was going to go to uni to do uh, marine biology at Salford. Uh, luckily I got this position, but this is something I always wanted to do. I was always going to do something animal based. Maybe not specifically carnivores, I like primates and all, all different things as well. But carnivores is something that really took my, took my fancy when um, applying for this place. So here we are. It's so beneficial to actually see what happens in zoos. Obviously you come to the zoo as a visitor to just see the animals, but the behind the scenes is really when you get a proper insight on what zookeeping is really about. Uh, there's a lot of highs and lows, which is natural in every position and uh, in every job hold, essentially. Uh, but being able to actually work with the animals physically does so much more for you rather than just you know, writing stuff down and things, because animal behaviours vary so frequently. Um, it's something that you really won't understand unless you work with them on a day-to-day -day basis. And so doing this apprenticeship is, is amazing in that sense. Uh, get to see all these animals behind the scenes and see how they really interact with one another and, and keepers themselves and all things like that. So you need to work as a team, that's a, that's a really important one. Obviously with animals such as lions, for example, uh, can most of the time take more than one individual. Uh, they're quite dangerous, uh, something you need to really monitor. So working as a team is really important in that sense. Uh, communication as well. Obviously we're very spread around the zoo. Um, so I could be here and someone could be on the other side of the zoo. Obviously radios are really beneficial, but also being able to communicate outside of that is really important because if an animal is unwell on the other side of the zoo, that's something that we can then try and help with essentially. There's a lot of things to take into account when, when wanting to do a position like this. You are going to be dirty a lot. Uh, there's a lot of paddock maintenance, like I said. You'll be cleaning a lot, you're going to be feeding a lot, so you might smell a little bit, all these things. But again, it comes with the job. Also, you have to get up bright and early every day. You have to work with the animals that sometimes might not want to work with you. But these are all things that, you know, you really have to take in your stride. This job in particular will really keep you on your toes. It's something that you come in and it's a completely new way of life, essentially. Animals might not play ball this day, they could have an argument the night before, and these are things that just you need to take into account every day. It, it varies so much, but at the same time, it's why you love it, essentially. It's never the same. Yeah, one thing I would say for a, a person trying to become a keeper is don't be disheartened. Hundreds of people want this position and, and want this job and stuff. So you will get turned away. I got turned away quite a lot of times before getting this position. So just having patience. You know, if it's something you really, really want to do and you're passionate about, it will come. The time will come. You can do things such as volunteering as well. So my, myself personally, before getting the position, I applied to volunteer at Blackpool. Uh, I applied to volunteer here at Chester and I also applied to volunteer at Colchester Zoo. I just wanted experience, I wanted to see what it was like, I wanted to get hands on, so that's also something that you can implement if something like keeping is for you. And there's also things such as you can go to uni and do degrees and then off the back of that you can go into zookeeping. If it's something you're really passionate about you will find a way. There's always a way to get into a position that you really want to get into. I absolutely love my job. It's so different every day is what's something that I'm really, really fond of. Um, working with these animals as well behind the scenes is it's just absolutely immense. It's really a job of dreams. Um, so if someone outside in wants to get this position and work in an industry like this, I, I don't blame you at all. It's absolutely amazing. I'd recommend it to anyone. <laughs>